Hey Taurus, this is going to be your love reading for September 2018. If you guys want a private reading, all the information is in the description box below the video. You can also follow me on Facebook. I do weekly card pulls for you guys, post uplifting things, so definitely check me out on there. I want to start off with a guidance session like we did for your August videos. So if you'd like, you can relax and take a deep breath and just focus on receiving the guidance that you need. Send out positive intentions that you will receive the guidance that you're asking about. Taurus in your guidance for September recovery so a lot of healing for you guys some of you may even be at the end of your healing process but recovery is beautiful because that is setting you on a new path a path for new things coming new things coming in new energy so what this card is saying is it's period of recovery and healing. The challenging emotions that you've been dealing with will fade away. Although it may be difficult to see now, there is a joyful future awaiting for you. Now take the time to regain your strength. And if you're nearly finished or at the end, send words of gratitude to your guides, your angels, and start planning. Start moving. So a lot of us were facing emotions things coming to the surface with all those planets retrograde throughout the summer now things are starting to speed up we're getting closer to fall mars is direct which is great saturn's direct next week so now we can expect some movement in different parts of our life whether it's work or relationships so let's see what's going on with you guys in september in love what does taurus need to hear for love What else does Taurus need to hear, please? All right, and what is the most important message for Taurus, please? All right, so the most important message, page of wands. So you guys could definitely be hearing some news in September. Okay, we have the new moon in Virgo. We do have Virgo here, September 9th. So 9-9, nine, nine, we have that new moon. The page of wands talks about the start of something new, something fresh. So a new beginning for you guys in relationships, 
okay? Breathing new energy into your love relationships. Five of Pentacles, you guys may have been dealing with this, okay? Or in the beginning of September, you're still feeling this way, kind of feeling like you're trudging through involving your relationships, struggling a little bit, but there is new energy coming in. We have the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords. That's young, it's energetic type energy. Page of Cups is talking about receiving news or messages, receiving an offer of love, emotions. Could be somebody from the past with the fish in the cup for some of you. Others of you, it's new life coming in. The Page of Swords, clarity, it's fast movement. This turbulence in this card because things are happening fast. It's very action oriented, ready to dive in. It's fearless energy. So some of you may need to be willing to take a leap of faith. The Three of Wands talks about manifesting, so manifesting something, okay? So positive intentions, remaining positive through the difficult times. Again, many of us were dealing with a lot of um, tough energy during the retrograde. So we have the Four of Pentacles next to the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Stability. This can also talk about financial stability for you guys, and that's going to be a big help involving relationships because... Relationships take a lot out of us and so does our work. Those are the two biggest things we have. So when we're secure financially, we have a lot more confidence in ourselves and in our relationships. Okay, so that can definitely be going on for you guys. You guys can be really focused. Maybe you're even meeting somebody at work. Okay, there is that possibility as well. We have the Six of Cups. Okay, so this is why I'm saying there could be somebody from the past with the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups. This is also about soulmate energy. So it could be somebody from a past life finally coming back into the picture or maybe somebody that you feel like you've known forever that you meet that's new. The Hermit is a sign of Virgo, so it could be another Earth sign. We also have air energy. The signs don't necessarily matter, it's just the energy. But some of you may be focused a little bit on things from the past with the Hermit card and the Six of Cups. Others of you, Finding your way and healing. The Hermit is all about healing, gaining knowledge. The Hierophant, there you are, Taurus. This is representative of you. So with the Hierophant here, this talks about stability, stability within relationships, marriages. Okay, so maybe some of you are receiving a proposal or you have received a proposal. Maybe others of you are getting clarity within your marriages and relationships. So we're going to start clarifying. All right, let's clarify this Page of Cups energy for Taurus. All right, so again, we have the Six of Cups. So there can definitely be maybe a child entering the picture. There is child energy here with the young energy, the pages and the Six of Cups. But again, this could also be um, somebody from the past, thinking about past memories, thinking about somebody, healing that energy. One more with the Page of Cups and Six of Cups, please. Some of you could even be hearing news about a child. Okay, Six of Swords. So that's talking about going through a transformation. Maybe some of you are leaving things from the past, leaving memories in the past, moving towards new memories. Again, I feel like there's going to be new energy coming into your life, especially with that new moon in Virgo. Okay, so with the new moon in Virgo, let's see your Taurus. So... That's going to be your 11th house. Um, you know, your house of friendships, your inner circle. You could be meeting somebody through friends, connections, things like that. There definitely could be some kind of past life connection here. Okay, let's look at the Page of Swords. What's the messages, communication coming in? All right, definitely some kind of communication or messages coming in. 
Some of you may have some decisions to make, some clarity, some news to give somebody. The Seven of Cups is talking about having to make a decision, having different options, weighing different options out in your mind, in your thoughts. Page of Wands is talking about bringing that to fruition. So some of you may be making some choices, giving news to somebody, hearing news, receiving news. Let's look at the Six of Cups here. What is the Six of Cups energy? Queen of Swords and Nine of Wands. Okay, so some of this past energy may be surfacing for you guys, maybe a little bit difficult, but this is for you to work through, okay? If this happens since now, you know, we're still in some retrogrades, there could be some things coming up for you to still heal from. Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands, a little bit of challenging energy with the Five of Swords and Ten of Swords. So for some of you, maybe letting somebody go from the past, healing from that, okay? With the Hierophant, this could include marriages um, for some of you if you have somebody to let go. For others of you, there's new energy coming in here. So some are dealing with healing, others of you dealing with choices and decisions, maybe giving somebody news, also receiving some news. Especially with the Page of Cups and Page of Swords. That's like new energy coming in for you guys. So however this resonates, whatever situation you're in, let's look at the Hierophant card. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus, please. All right, Queen of Cups. That's Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Four of Wands, this talks about stability. So for some of you, with this hermit, the Hierophant, Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, healing things in the home life, healing emotions, maybe even some of you that are meeting somebody new, something stable, something tangible, something to celebrate, emotional happiness, could be a water sign. But with the Hermit card, okay, that's definitely about healing. It's also about enlightenment. So some of you may be gaining all these things during the month of September. What else does Taurus need to hear involving love, please? treasure your loved ones and true love it's important to love others deeply true love this is the love this is a once in a lifetime love so again some of you really may be meeting somebody this is just another affirmation confirmation that some of you are meeting somebody new okay your ships are coming in if you've been dealing with this left out in the cold energy tough energy there could be new life coming in maybe even meeting somebody in the workplace Others of you, treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Some of you may be healing relationships, healing conflicts. Others of you going through endings. However, this resonates with you. All right, Taurus, I hope you guys have an amazing September and take care.